Let me catch you up on the Roger Ailes uh, sexual harassment scandal so that I can tell you the latest amazing news. Last month, former Fox News anchor Gretchen Carlson filed a lawsuit against Roger Ailes for sexual harassment. And right after that, a whole list of former colleagues came out with similar stories. Weeks later, Roger Ailes resigned. Huge golden parachute, 40 million reportedly. There's currently an internal investigation being conducted by a law firm. It originally was focused just on Roger Ailes. But after these allegations continued surfacing from at least 20 women at this point, we have news about that investigation. Uh, news number one is the investigation now is also including other Fox News executives. And uh, I don't think any of us would be surprised if it turns out that this sort of uh, sexual harassment boys club scenario extended beyond just Roger Ailes wouldn't surprise me. I doubt it would surprise much of our audience. The big news is that there are now discussions of the uh, audio tapes that allegedly exist that multiple women have reportedly recorded in conversation with Roger Ailes. We may have actual audio evidence of many of what I can only assume are cringed cringeworthily embarrassing exchanges and the settlement discussions that are now happening reportedly based on individuals familiar with these negotiations are growing in terms of the size of the potential settlements by some reports up to eight figures because of the reported existence of these audio tapes. Can you imagine, Lewis, if now, audio tapes were released of Roger Ailes sexually harassing and making suggestions about the exchanges potentially of sexual favors for positions or raises on Fox News. I can't wait for this stuff to come out. And it's uh, if you if you were in that workplace and you know this type of thing is happening, why wouldn't you carry something around with you that you might use to to catch this this guy in the act? And now we know what that golden parachute was for. It was to help him with all the settlements. Well, it, interesting. You're sort of joking, but that's actually true. I mean, the negotiations include the idea that Ailes would personally help to fund part of this settlement because, you know, the sort of big picture of it is his behavior was so outside of anything relating to his job description or what he was supposed to be doing here. And as a result, we are now subject to these lawsuits that Fox News wants him to personally be funding whatever settlements are ultimately reached. Journalist Gabriel Sherman recently uh, alleged, and it hasn't been refuted, that Fox News already settled for three point fifteen million dollars with Lori Loon, who is a former booker on Fox News. Uh, th this this is just truly, truly incredible. And by the way, added to the list of names, we recently heard that Megyn Kelly also jumped in and said, oh, yeah, 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 this is what Roger Ailes did. Andrea Tantaros, who is another Fox News host, that has uh, not been on the air since April is saying she also uh, was a victim of, of Roger Ailes's harassment. The guy still has defenders on the Internet, uh, and that's the most amazing thing. Uh, we, we saw it with Bill Cosby. We are seeing it with Roger Ailes. And I'm wondering what, what's the big picture? There are going to be some really big settlements here. There's no doubt about that. Could this influence how these boys clubs treat women bigger picture? Because you know that in most cases, this goes on at many companies. This goes on in many, many places. You rarely hear about it. There's a, a sort of power dynamic where, as we've talked about on the show and spoke about with Rachel, it's very reasonable to think that victims of this type of thing, women who are victims, will just never come out because they need the job and they're, they're supporting their family or whatever. Maybe this could serve to change the dynamic at some other organizations where this goes on. I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of trying to find a silver lining that goes above and beyond Gretchen Carlson coming away with 15 million bucks. Yeah, this happens at the smallest of companies and the biggest of companies. Yeah. And what this will do is uh, maybe make a few people either think differently about this type of behavior, right. uh, not act on their impulses or just make them get better at covering up uh, whatever they do. Yeah, I think the initial instinct would be how can we better cover up and make sure we can continue doing this without getting in trouble? That that's probably the the most likely outcome of this.